Here we are again in FreeCAD. We talked about ways of lofting the main body for the F-18. This should be a lot more simple and straightforward. I want to make the canopy. Let's go to the um, right view here, and I'll select this plane, and we'll make a datum plane referencing off of it, and we'll move our Z. Of course, I'll flip sides to make the base of the canopy. And what my strategy is going to be is we're going to start the loft inside of the body. Right there is probably good. We're going to start a loft inside of this body here and I'm going to actually use the space bar and hide my body. We'll start a sketch on this plane and I might have my if I go into preferences here I might have my backlighting off so we're going to enable our backlight and that should brighten up our image. I also um, <laughs> Per last time, would also like to go into my sketch 008, and we're going to map reverse so we can see the right side of this. Now, if I get back into my sketch, we are facing the right way now. So I'll reset my view, and let's get started drawing this canopy. I'm going to come into here. There we go. First things first, in fact, instead of hiding my body, perhaps I'll bring it back with the space bar and move this to wireframe so I can kind of see the outline of what I'm doing. I'm going to make two lines at the base, and in that way I can use the E key for equal and ensure that these are going to be the same length. Let me bring up my keyboard monitor in case I use a hot key that I don't call out. You can see that here. Now let's make a very uh, brief B-spline. I'm going to say that all I need is a three-point B-spline. And I don't think of those points merged. Ugh, and I accidentally got out of my sketch. I don't think those points merged as I meant for them to. So we're going to get those together, right? So you have this very brief three sketch thing here. And let's just make sure that I change my view back to as is. And there's no part of my sketch peeking out of this thing. So I know that we are lying within the sketch that we need to be. Now let's go to the right view. I'm going to add another sketch plane. All right, we're going to open up this datum plane. And we want to do perhaps the top part of our canopy. So I'm just going to... Uh, Z-axis this, we'll flip sides again, and try to hit the very top part of the canopy that would be tangent to horizontal. About right there. We'll say OK. I'm going to start a sketch. We'll go back to the tree now, and I can hide this plane with the space bar. We're going to map reverse this to true, and we're going to refresh. There we go. Now I would sure like to sort of outline the width of my canopy here. So I'm going to get these points together. Flip your view if you have trouble seeing to wireframe up here if you need to. Now I'm going to make a B-spline, and this time I want to be a little bit more judicious. Uh, so I'm going to make a five-point B-spline. And let's say I want this thing to end on vertical. But, you know, even that, I don't necessarily, because sometimes these canopies, like on the Harrier, if you see, it can curve around past vertical. So it might even be more useful to select these two endpoints, not endpoints, but rather these two intermediate points and a line of symmetry and just add in a symmetric constraint and that way we can have a symmetric canopy. I'm going to move these just inside of my body and try to outline my canopy as best as I can here. That doesn't look too bad. It's going to be a little bit more of a full canopy than the last one, but I like the way that that turned out. So 
I'm going to exit, right? We're going to rebuild tasks, close. And there we have a canopy. It seems like it matches up with the uh, right view pretty well also. Next, let's make another one. <laughs> we'll have another plane that will uh, I'll flip sides in advance and move it back. Let's go to the right view now. And that's past where the canopy is, so I think we're doing pretty well. So I'm going to call this 72. Now I'll hide my body. And if I just look at this with the right view on, right, when I go to loft this, I'm thinking that we're going to follow the curvature of this canopy pretty well. If not, we can either use a reference sketch and align these sketches or just manually adjust these sketches depending on what level of uh, precision that you want to try to get to. So now that we're in an active sketch on our datum plane, I'm going to hide my datum plane with the space bar. We're going to go to a true map reverse and there we have what we need. And I'm going to make the same sketch or at least very similar to the one that I have made initially, right? We're going to select both lines, E for equal. And let's go with another three point B spline. And those did not coincident the way that I wanted to. So I'm going to grab these two points. Come on. There we go. That should, that should do it. Next. We're going to choose a, in fact, we can choose this plane that divides our sketch in two and choose a coincident relation. There we go. Sometimes you have to move these things around just to get them to snap. I'm going to go to the right view now. And it looks like the top of my sketch is right there. And looking at my right view, I think the canopy really is going to come down at about the right angle. We'll, we'll give that a test here. So let's get out of this and just see how this loft turns out. So we're going to say um, tasks close. Oh, looks like I had an over constraint. So let's remove constraint number 10. And we have three degrees of freedom. So we'll close that. We're going to choose part design, loft. I'm going to actually hide my body again and make sure that my first sketch is chosen. Loft, and then we'll go to the model and hide our mirrored once more. Then we go to adding a section. And we'll add another section. So there's our canopy. And if I go to the right view, yeah, it's a little bit more tall in profile than we want. So I'm actually going to say OK on that, even though it's not exactly what we want. And if I go to my loft, I have sketch 8, 9, and 10. And in sketch 8, I'm going to raise this up. And if I go back to my right view, I don't think that's going to put us outside of our body. So we'll close that. Now, going back to the right view. Yep, still a little more problems here. So what I think I'll do is lengthen out this last plane here. We're going to edit the datum and move this to something like 77. Let's give that a try. Yeah, that's a bit of a longer canopy that we want, and I think that fits the profile pretty well. So, just a few tweaks here and there to get the loft to be exactly what we want, and we have a canopy. Well, tune in next time. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.